Okay, what we have here is the Git uh, page for SR Quest Downloader by the very clever chap BookDude13. Anyway, over here under releases we have the SR Quest Downloader, so we're going to click on latest. And then we scroll all the way down to SR Quest Downloader version 2.01 APK tells us it's going to be installed on our Quest headset, so let's grab it. And that's gotten. Open that up. There it is. SR Quest Downloader APK. Brilliant. Now we have the file on our machine. The next thing that we will do is we will go into side quests. Install APK file from folder on computer. Click it. There is our APK. We're going to install this one. We open it up and we get some information down the bottom saying it's doing it and then saying that it's done it. Success. Fabulous. That takes us to the headset. Okay, here are all my apps. What I'm going to look for though is unknown sources because that's where this thing is going to be installed. SR Quest Downloader. Open it up. First up, it's going to ask about permissions because the media is going to be the custom song. So accessing photos and media is great. Hit allow. Hey, it's an immersive app. Hey, gone are the days for Total Commander. Got a debug log, very techy. Got an error log, very techy. Permissions required. Some storage permissions are missing. Uh, additional permissions to be manually set, very good. Click the request permissions button below to request all necessary permissions and recheck permissions and continue to the main app. Okay, so I'm gonna hit this button, do some stuff and then come down here and do this. And if I wanna get really techy, I can do this, okay. Let us request permission. This comes up with this interface. Ah, allow access to manage all files. Right. Because it's not just files for itself, it's files for another game, Synth Riders. And Android says, well, if you're going to do that, then you've got to do something fancy. This is the fancy. Okay, so we've done that. Now I'm going to actually go back here. Why not? And then I'm just going to press the Oculus button to the actual app and now that I've requested permission I should do the next thing which is to check and continue so let me check and continue and sure enough here is my downloader telling me that it has found nothing because this is a fresh install of the game on a fresh headset that's never had customs before and so what do we do now last fetch was in 1st Jan 1970 fun fact that's not true but what they mean is there has been no last fetch. That is the beginning of the Unix epoch, which begins on the 1st of Jan 1970 and ends in something like 2038 or something like that. Sooner than you think. Okay, difficulties to toggle. All right, I don't want any easy. I'll turn that off. And this changes to fetch filtered. Look at that, fetch all, fetch filtered. Very nice. Normal, don't want normal or hard. Just give me the expert master and custom. Okay, fetch from time, click to toggle. All right, so this isn't a button that will actually make an action. It's a toggle button. Okay, so we last week, last month, last three months, last year, all time. Okay, since last fetch. So if I'm doing this for the first time, I can either do all time or last fetch because they're going to be the same because the last fetch was never. And so all time and never is the same. So for purposes of this, demo purposes, let's go for last fetch since that's what's going to be used most of it. We also got move from downloads, which I assume if I had actually downloaded a bunch of stuff on the headset and put it into downloads, this would then pick up all the songs and move them. Fix map timestamps, that's great. If you've ever moved stuff across to the headset on your own, you'll notice that it messes up all the timestamps, something fierce, and then the sorting from maps from older maps to newer maps does not work. So this will fix that. That's wonderful. Play synth writer, self-evident exit, that's evident. Okay, so I think what I should do now... Since for time purposes, I don't want to download 3,000 or whatever songs, so I'm going to change this from last fetch just to last week, so it gets only a few of them, just for this demo purposes and see how it works. Okay, fetch filtered. Now my expectation is when I click this button over here on the debug log, we're going to see a bunch of activity, and hopefully nothing over here on the error log. Let's see. Here we go. Boop. Downloading. Okay, yeah. Adding maps, downloading maps, moving to SynthRiders directory, finish downloading. Oh, right. That's it. 
There was only a few. Five maps. Okay, five maps in the last week. Perfect. All right, so try last month. Let me try that one again. Okay, more than 10. Okay, it's going to get a bunch of stuff. Look at that. Auto magic. Oh, and it's done. 31 maps. Oh, fabulous. I mean, let's do last three months. Let's see how long how long that takes. Thank goodness for a fast internet connection. Look at this go. Oh. Oh, that's wonderful. Fantastic. Book dude, you've excelled yourself. That is, that's going to make so many people's lives so much easier. And the custom maps directory doesn't exist, and so it creates it for you. Terrific. Terrific. And that's even though I haven't... Yeah, because I only went into the game and played a map. I did not try and go into custom maps to create that custom map directory. So you take care of that for me, which is awesome. Great. And if I fix map timestamps, it's going to go and get all those timestamps and then apply them to the files that I have, I assume. In this case... There we go. Setting all the timestamps. Finished correcting timestamps. That's great. All right. All right. And just for kicks, should bring this up. Music packs, custom songs. In order to activate custom content, have to access modified files. Okay. Synthwriter is going to do it. Okay. Oculus flat button to get back into the game. Loading custom songs. Look at that. Making the database. It's only the slow one time. I only chose the last three months. My goodness. Look at this. Wait, this isn't custom songs yet. Okay, click custom songs. There we go. These are all custom songs. It worked. We have custom songs in a very easy to update way. That's what we wanted. That's what we got. Okay, so let's recap. Uh, we'll install and set up SideQuest on the PC. Get the SRQuest downloader from GitHub. Install the APK using SideQuest. And then finally, use the app to easily download customs in headset. One click. It's amazing. Nice work.